Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Jucanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. First off, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody that stopped into the Sunday Night Live chat with me. Thank you so much. We had over like 4,500 people pop in. That is crazy. So thanks again. I think we're going to do it probably every other week. Uh, you know, see how that goes right now. But today we are going to go over something that I see all the time at the shop that homeowners can do really simple themselves if they'd like to do it. And that is how to replace the clutch and or sprocket on any chainsaw. Hopefully this video will save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. Now there are only two different designs of clutch and sprocket systems on chainsaws. One where the clutch is exposed and you'll have to take it off first. And one where the sprocket is exposed and you'll have to remove it first to get to the clutch. Now first things first, before we're able to actually get one of these off, we have to stop the piston because we can spin it all day long, but it's just gonna keep spinning the crankshaft, which uh, won't let it come off the threads. So let's go ahead and do the steel first. To stop the piston, we're gonna wanna remove the top cover off the engine with our T27. Next, we're going to remove the spark plug. Next, you're going to take your pull rope and we're going to stick it down into the cylinder. Now, do be careful though. I went ahead and melted the ends on mine and smushed them. That way they weren't fraying. You don't want to get any frayed pieces stuck between the actual piston and cylinder wall because that wouldn't be good. So um, make sure to use a rope that doesn't, you know, have any little frazzles on it or breaks off really easy. So we're going to start to fill the cylinder. Now that we've got the rope inside there, we're going to go ahead and take this sprocket off. Now, steels are really easy because they just have a little E-clip holding a washer on, holding the actual sprocket. So I usually just get my needle nose or maybe um, a small uh, little flathead, and I will just get in between there and pry it just a little bit, and it'll pop right off. Let's we'll take your washer off, and the sprocket should come off. Sometimes it wants to be a little bit of a booger. Let's get the big boy out because this thing is not wanting to come off. Work it back and forth. There we go. And it's off. Okay, next we're going to check, make sure that our uh, bearing is okay. It's all right. And now we are to the clutch. The clutch looks good, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to take it off. Now we're going to put it in the forward position because this actually goes off um, righty, loosey, lefty, tidy. So we're going to turn it to the right till it stops. And now we'll be able to uh, get it off. Alright, so we turn it until we make sure that the piston is locked in place. You have your rope inside, and now we're going to remove it because it is righty-loosey, lefty-tidy on these. So I've got my impact wrench with a um, three-quarter deep socket. And that is how you remove the clutch on a steel. Now, when putting the clutch back on of a steel chainsaw, your worm gear has this little rod that pokes out right here that whenever you put your sprocket back on, it's going to have to go in this little notch right here on the sprocket. So we're going to put that back into place, put our washer down, put this back, and that is backwards. <laughs> 
lock the piston in place again, tighten it, and now whenever you go and take our rope out, now we're going to put our bearing back on. And when we put our sprocket back on, you have to look for that little rod with the light and line it up with that little notch so it can actually turn it and spin your oiler. Back into place. Put your washer back on. I'm gonna put our E-clip back on. And you've done it. Now on the Husqvarna, I did the same thing. I took the top cover off, removed the spark plug, and put a rope inside of the cylinder to lock the piston in place. On the uh, Husqvarna, it does actually have an arrow showing you which way to turn it off, because it is righty-loosey. But the it, they do have an actual tool for this, but at home, you're probably not gonna have it. And it's a, it's a prong tool. It has two prongs that fit in here, and then it has the um, nut for the socket so you can you know use your impact if you'd like to but if you don't have that once you've locked it you make sure that it's locked in place we're going to actually tap it off we're going to use a hammer and a uh, flat head or you know standard screwdriver and we're I'm going to get in now whenever you do it though you only want to tap on this center piece because if you tap on this part or these parts down here they are actually um, loosely in here with this spring and you can make the whole thing fall apart. We want it all to stay together so we're only going to be tapping on this center piece that is actually threaded onto the crankshaft. All right, so you're going to find an angle which is best for you to uh, be able to get your flathead standard screwdriver in. I'm going to go this way at it and come back at me. I'm going to put a little pressure on the chainsaw and I'm holding it right here and I'm going to give it a little tap. And that one came off much easier. I must have had this one off already because it just came off. You will have to tap pretty hard and probably a couple times, but that is how you get your clutch off. Then you can just remove the sprocket just like that. When you go to put it back on, you will put it back on just the way, same way that you took it off. You're going to... Oh, tighten it to the left. Spin it until the cylinder locks in place again, and you're going to tap it tight. So thanks again for hanging out with Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found us on Instagram yet, find us there at The Real Chicanic, where you'll see stuff that I do not post on YouTube. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash chicanic. Thanks and have a great day.